Hallelujah. We give you glory, Lord, as we honor you. We give you glory, Lord, as we honor you. You are wonderful. You are worthy, O Lord. You are wonderful. You are worthy, O Lord. Good morning to you this beautiful Wednesday morning. The joy of the Lord is your portion. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, and on behalf of our diocesan, I welcome you to today's edition of Glorious Morning Prayer with Bishop Ifedola Senasu Gabriel Okukpevi, PhD. My name is John Agboro. May your heavens be open this day in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I am going to be reading a verse of the Bible from St. John's Gospel, chapter 21, verse 3. Simon Peter said to them, I am going fishing. They said to him, We are going with you also. They went out and immediately got into the boat. And that night, they caught nothing. I pray for you this day, this week and beyond. You will not labor in vain in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The verse spoke about Peter telling his colleague, that he was going to fish. Fishing was his business before Christ called him. And this time around, he, the disciples, they followed him. But unfortunately, their effort that night was fruitless. I pray for you, your effort over your business, your effort over your career, your effort over your ministry, your effort over your marriage, will never be fruitless in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Early in the morning, as they were returning from their fruitless journey, Jesus was standing at the shore of the sea of Tiberias, waiting for them. Then Jesus said to them, Children, have you any food or fish? They answered him, No. He said to them, Cast the net on the right side of the boat and you will find some so they cast and now they were not able to draw it because of the multitude of fish hallelujah jesus met these disciples peter and his colleague at the point of their need in their frustration and he turned their story of shame to testimony i pray for you that the lord will meet you at the point of your need. Are you frustrated? Are you fed up? I am telling you this day that don't give up because the Lord will show up for you just as he showed up for his disciple. Hear what the Lord is saying to you in Isaiah chapter 41 verse 10. He said, Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. Hallelujah. He said, Yes, I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Hallelujah. Only God can direct one to the right side, to the place of profitability, the place of fruitfulness and profit. Jesus gave them in abundance what they had been laboring to get without success. I don't know what you are laboring to get. I don't know what you are struggling for. The Lord will give unto you in abundance in the mighty name of Jesus. The word of God says that as soon as they had come to land, they saw fire of coals there and there were fish on top of the fire. Hallelujah. And there was bread. Jesus already had some fish on fire and bread ready for them. He knew they would be hungry and so he provided for their need when they least expected it. Jesus said to them, come and eat breakfast. Hallelujah. The Lord is inviting you, someone today, that you should come and have breakfast. Not only breakfast, the Lord will provide lunch. The Lord will provide dinner for you in the mighty name of Jesus. All you need to do is to hold on to the Lord Jesus Christ and your 
era of fruitless labor will be over in the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus showed up when the disciples least expected. He did not come empty. He came to bless them. He came to meet their need. Today, the Lord is coming into your life. The Lord is coming into your family. The Lord is coming to bless you. The Lord is coming to meet your need in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Let us pray. I want you to thank God this morning for the gift of another day. Bless the name of the Lord for the gift of life to you and to your family. Let us thank God again for the success of the just concluded Lagos Diocesan Women Conference. Let us thank God. It was a glorious success and we give all glory to God. Say with me, Father, I stretch forth my arms to you this morning like a little child for you to carry me on your shoulder in the remaining part of this year and beyond for safety and for care. And I pray for you that the Lord will answer that prayer. The Lord will carry you on his shoulder to, 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 to care for you and for your safety in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, say with me, Father, I receive grace to be successful in my studies. I receive grace to be successful in my career, to be successful in my business in the mighty name of Jesus. I want you to say with me, Lord, grant me grace to love you more and more. Always help me, give me the grace to love you more and more in the mighty name of Jesus. Psalm 128 verse 2 says, You will eat the fruit of your labor. Blessing and prosperity will be yours. Hallelujah. I pray for you. You will not labor in vain. In the place of your labor, in the place of your struggle, the Lord will come to your aid in the name of Jesus Christ. Your family will never suffer spiritual setback. They will not suffer financial setback. You will not suffer in your heads in the mighty name of Jesus. Are you sick? Receive your healing in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray for every pregnant woman in this diocese and beyond. You shall deliver safely in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Those that are believing God for the fruit of the womb, I say carry your babies in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Psalm 145 verse 16 says, You open your hands and satisfy the desire of the living thing. Hallelujah. God will open his hands and he will satisfy you. In your place of business, he will satisfy you. In your marriage, he will satisfy you. In your home, he will satisfy you. Are you looking for a job? The Lord will satisfy you. And I pray that the Lord will open his hand upon Nigeria and he will satisfy Nigeria. He will deliver our nation from starvation, from hunger, from insecurity in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I pray for Lagos State that the Lord will satisfy us in Lagos State. He will satisfy us with peace. He will satisfy us with progress. He will satisfy us with prosperity in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I want you to pray for the church of Nigeria, particularly as we are preparing for all Anglican clergy conference that is coming up in August. We pray that that conference will be a huge success. We pray for journey messages for all those that will be traveling from the north, from the south, from the east, from the west to Lagos in the mighty name of Jesus. We pray for the Episcopal Synod that is coming up that God will take absolute control. It shall be to the glory of God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. At this time, I want you to bring your personal request before God. Bring your personal request before God. And I know that the Lord God Almighty will answer your prayers. The Lord God Almighty will answer your prayers. And I decree this day that your prayers are answered. And as we close, I pray for the Dows of Lagos. Every family in this diocese will prosper in the name of Jesus. It shall be well with our diocese. It shall be well with Mama Lagos. It shall be well with the entire family of the Diocese of Lagos. We will continue to serve the Lord and we will continue to enjoy His goodness in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Just as you joined us this day, we want to encourage you to join us again, same time next week. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen.